Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video, as you can tell by the title, all about braces because as you can tell, I got my braces off and I got them off like a week and a day ago and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them as soon as I got them off, so follow me on Instagram because I update you guys really frequently on there and yeah, today I'm just going to be telling you like my experience with braces and things that you will like go through during braces and like what to like avoid and what to do and all that stuff so basically I hope you guys find this video helpful in some way and let's just get started okay so depending on like your teeth you may have like certain things before you get your braces I had like everything that I think you can have which is spacers a retainer and an expander I don't think that there's anything else <laughs> that you can get and I had all of them so spacers Actually, spacers kind of suck. They're just little rubber bands, and you can have one of them on each side, or you could have two on each side of your mouth. They go in the back, and they just create, like, space in your in between your teeth if they're, like, too tight together. And they don't sound bad, but I remember they actually sucked pretty bad because I, like, couldn't bite. Like, I couldn't eat any crunchy foods. Like, I literally was eating applesauce and, like, popsicles for so long because, like, I couldn't eat anything, like, crunchy. So that kind of sucked. The only thing that you can really do is take like Advil or ibuprofen and just again eat soft foods. Um, retainers. Retainers kind of suck because they take up like all the space on the roof of your mouth. But then they're not that bad. I just wouldn't recommend eating with them. And they tell you to eat with them in. Well my orthodontist does. Some orthodontists tell you not to. But honestly don't eat with them in because so much food will get stuck in them. And that's just like really disgusting. And you're honestly taking them out for like 20-30 minutes to eat like you'll be fine I promise um expanders if you have to get an expander I am so sorry because expanders suck they were probably the worst part of like my entire braces experience and they just are horrible um well with mine I had to like crank it every day like there was like this little key and you would like put it through I don't even know there was like a hole in the top of it and you like you had to take this key and like crank it and it would get like tighter it's like getting your braces tightened tightened tighten oh my god it's like getting your braces tightened but it's every single night you have to do it and like it sucks because like it takes me like at least a day to get used to it and as soon as I'll get used to it I would have to make it tighter so the expander sucked and mine was cemented in my mouth so like I couldn't take it out when I would eat so I'd get so much food stuck in it and then I would make this really weird like noise when I would try to get the food out of my mouth and yeah okay and then getting your braces on the actual like whole thing of it probably takes like an hour, an hour and a half, just depending on your orthodontist. Um, okay, well when I went, okay, I had braces from 7th to 9th grade, so I had them from, I actually remember the date, not even kidding. Um, it was February 13th, 2012 to April 28th, 2014. So I had mine for like two years, two months, and 15 days, I think. And... <laughs> And basically, when I got my braces on, I don't know why my orthodontist did this, but he just gave me the brackets, which are just like the little metal things that go in the center of each tooth, but I didn't get the wire, and the wire is what actually like hurts. So when I first got my braces, I was like, this doesn't even hurt, like, I'm going to be fine, like, why did everyone say that this hurt? And then I went back like a few days later and got the wire, and I was like, oh, now I get it. And... Basically, the brackets don't actually move your teeth, it's the wire that moves it, so, um, the first, like, three days, I would say, it's the worst that night and the following day is when your mouth hurts the worst, but again, just take Advil or ibuprofen or some kind of, like, pain medicine and just try to eat soft foods, because if you eat, like, crunchy foods, your teeth are just, like, really sensitive, so avoid that. Okay, while you have your braces, they will literally name this long list of all these foods that you can't eat and you can literally eat every single one of them seriously the only thing that I would avoid that they tell you to is make sure you can chew gum just make sure it's sugar free because if it has sugar in it then it's just like really bad I don't know it just gets stuck in your braces um and then also I wouldn't eat caramel you could probably eat like the caramel apple suckers but I wouldn't eat just like stringy like caramel like melted and like candy and stuff but if it's like a caramel apple sucker you would probably be fine popcorn you can eat popcorn it's just sometimes like the kernels would get stuck in your teeth but you can get them out you'll be fine um yeah the only food i would avoid is caramel but some of my friends ate caramel but i just didn't want to risk it i don't know um 
if you have to get rubber bands when you have braces, there's a lot of like different things that they can do. Like they can make you do it all around the front. They can make you do little boxes, like just like locks around like two up top, two at the bottom. Um, I had to go like up back here, down around these two, and then up to like a little hook. I don't know. They can do like a lot of different weird things, but rubber bands, honestly, rubber bands suck because they break like all the time and they just suck because it's like a rubber band snapping inside your mouth so it hurts really bad because you never know when it's coming. But just wear them. Just wear them because whenever you don't wear your rubber bands, it's going to be longer until you get your braces off. So just wear your rubber bands. You will get used to them. They're not that bad. Um, I ate with mine in. Some people would take them out, but like the first like three days that I got them, I totally forgot that people were like, oh, take them out when you eat. So I would just eat with them in, and then I was like, wait, like nothing even happens. But a lot of times it would break when I would eat my food, but then just wait until you're done eating. You don't have to put them back in like right away. You're not going to die. Um, yeah, honestly, just wear them. They're not that bad. Um, whitening, don't use like any type of like whitening toothpaste, like Pretty much every toothpaste says that it whitens, but don't buy one that is, like, literally specifically for whitening, like, Crest 3D White, Colgate, Optic White, like, a toothpaste that is, like, specifically for whitening your teeth, because what it'll do is, like, this is your tooth, this is your tooth, and you have, like, a little bracket sitting in the middle of it, so then if you use whitening stuff, this bracket is stuck to that tooth, so it's going to whiten all around it, but the toothpaste can't get under the bracket, so, you're going to whiten around it, and then you're going to have, like, this yellow mark from your bracket. So, don't use any whitening stuff until you get your braces off, and then you can do it. But I would wait, like, a few days to do the whitening stuff, because your teeth are, like, really sensitive when you first get your braces off. So, I would wait, like, probably, like, a week and to whiten. I've had my braces off for, like, like I said, eight days, and they're not sensitive anymore. I would honestly just wait, like, at least two days. Um... The process of getting your braces off, you guys don't even understand. I was so worked up, and this is nothing, okay? Literally, people are like, it does hurt. It doesn't. It literally doesn't hurt at all. And I'm not that type of person to try to be all, like, badass and be like, I feel no pain. It doesn't even hurt. Because when people get piercings, they'll get, like, crazy thing pierced, and they're like, no, it didn't even hurt. How does that not hurt? Like, they are sticking a needle through some random part of your skin. Like, how does that not hurt? But honestly, getting your braces off literally does not hurt. If it did, I would tell you guys. And it literally doesn't. He was telling me, like, I told him that I was really nervous. And what he did was he was, I didn't know, but he was, like, popping the brackets off. And he was telling me, he was like, well, some people, if it's too much, they'll come back another day. And he was just, like, trying to, like, stall. And by the time that he was, like, done saying this, it was literally probably 40 seconds later. And he was like, okay, they're off. And they just all come off together. Like, he just had the two strands, like, in a cup. And he was like, oh, they're off. And I was like, shut up. And then he had me go brush my teeth. And then he took off, like, all the glue, which that part kind of sucks. But, like, the actual getting your braces off isn't bad at all. Seriously, like, it doesn't hurt. And it doesn't take long. Like, the actual getting your braces off takes, like, 40 seconds. Um, the, like, part that takes, like, an hour is them scraping off all the glue. And then you have to do molds for your retainers, which leads me to retainers so basically it's probably different for every orthodontist but my orthodontist you got a retainer with like the whole braces package and you could then buy like separate ones so I bought four sets of like the Invisalign ones I don't know okay so you can get like Invisalign or you can get them like cemented in or I think you can just keep these I don't know but I decided to get the Invisalign ones because I feel like they won't affect my speech as much and they're clear and I hate this little metal bar across the front. I hate it. So that's why I got those ones. But you can honestly just use these. What these ones kind of are is these are like, if you have contacts, these are like your glasses. So that if your contacts ever rip, you have your glasses. Well, if you would ever lose your like fancy like Invisalign or your one that's meant to end, if it would ever break or like whatever, if you would lose your Invisalign or it would break or something happened to it, you will always have these as a backup or if like you maybe forget your Invisalign at your friend's house or something, you just kind of have these as like a backup. So these are good. Um, when you first have them the first few days, they suck really bad. They have like this metal bar across the front and they just create 
a line and they kind of like affect your speech as you can tell and I don't wear my retainers enough so I've had them for like eight days and I'm still not like used to talking with them but that's just because I don't wear them as much they're not that bad I just don't wear them at school because I literally eat all day and I can't eat with them in so that's why I don't wear them as much as I should but basically oh and also with retainers wear your retainers they're like rubber bands like you just need to wear them because just tell yourself like I need to wear them because if I don't my teeth are gonna move and then like that's the whole point of getting your braces so just wear your retainers and eventually you'll only have to wear them at night so it's not that bad and also retainers are hard because they suck the first like few days and with braces the first few days you're like yeah this sucks but whatever I just have to deal with it but retainers you have that like temptation where they suck but if you really want to you can just take them out in like two seconds so you really have to have that self-control to tell yourself you have to wear them or else your teeth are gonna move and it'll just be bad so that was my little video about braces sorry the lighting is like really dark now it's like nine o'clock so now it's really dark out but i hope you guys found it helpful in some way if you're getting braces soon they're not even bad honestly they're not that bad and it's so worth it in the end so um yeah i hope you guys found this helpful and leave any requests or any like other comments you guys have down below and i'll try to answer them also my instagram and ask fm and everything will be linked in the down bar and be sure to leave me some requests because i always like hearing video ideas that you guys want to see and also be sure to subscribe because give away 10,000 subscribers so yeah and if i hit it before summer i'm gonna wait until summer to do it because i want it to be like kind of summery themed and maybe i don't know i just want to do it in summer so crossing my fingers for 10,000 subscribers by summer so yeah i love you guys so much bye